the government kept the difference. And notice they didn't want investors who were actually smart and looking ahead. They didn't want the investors in gold to make the profit, which he knew was coming. It was the ultimate insider trade, uh, but they raised it and the government kept the profit. Some people are still concerned about the fact that the government could confiscate gold like that big uh, did back in the 1930s. Is that a real threat or no? Well, it's it's possible. I don't I don't think it's likely, but it is possible, and you have to give it some thought. I think the difference between now and the 1930s, what they did in the 1930s, I think confiscation is the right word. But what President Roosevelt did in the U.S., uh, he did two things at once. He um, demanded that everyone turn in their gold, but he gave you twenty dollars an ounce. The problem was he was taking the physical gold and giving you $20 an ounce in paper money that was not convertible to gold. Because at the same time, in the same order, he made gold contraband. It was like drugs or machine guns. You, it was illegal from 1934 to 1974. It was illegal for Americans to own gold, except for you know coin collectors and dentists. I think that was about it. So, um, so they, they did confiscate the gold. But in the next uh, move, Roosevelt raised the price to $35. So he bought it for 20, raised it to 35. The government kept the difference. And notice they didn't want investors who were actually smart and looking ahead. They didn't want the investors in gold to make the profit, which he knew was coming. It was the ultimate insider trade. Uh, but they raised it and the government kept the profit. By the way, that profit is still around. It's a slush fund in the US Treasury. They're, they're using it now to bail out the banking system. So that, that's that money's been floating around since 1934, but it's still at the Treasury in the tens of billions. Of dollars, um, so but people went along with it uh, partly because it was in the depths of the Great Depression. Thousands of banks had failed, millions of people had lost their money in the failing banks. Uh, the stock market was down eighty-five uh, percent. I mean, not ten percent or twenty percent, eighty-five percent from nineteen twenty-nine to nineteen thirty-two. So there was a, there was a sense Roosevelt had recently been elected. It's one of the first things he did. So there was a sense that hey, we're all in it together new president, let's do what he says. I think a lot of that is gone today. There's that's That was a, a vote of trust in the administration, even though the trust was kind of betrayed by the devaluation of the dollar. But that said, uh, today, I think people would be far more reluctant to go along with it. Um, and there's another factor, which is at the time, again, now I'm going back to 1933, 1934, we were on a gold standard. So the, the value of the dollar was fixed to a weight of gold. Uh, and they could take the gold and then raise the price and keep the difference, as I described. But we were still on a gold standard and, and the value was fixed. Today, we're not on a gold standard. The value is not fixed. So imagine the world where the government's maybe getting ready to confiscate the gold or do something similar to what Roosevelt did. Well, that's a world where you're already in distress. There's already chaos. The government wouldn't be thinking about it. The government never wants to bow in the direction of gold because they don't want anyone to think that gold is a monetary asset. Of course, it is a monetary asset. Why else would the United States have 8,000 metric tons? But leave that aside. They don't want people to think about gold because if you did, you say, hey, I better get some. But, um, but if you were getting ready to confiscate the gold, the market price would be up around fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 an ounce. In other words, I wouldn't favor it. And, you know, people will make their own choices as to whether they want to go along with it. But you would already have gold would have served its purpose because uh, the, 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 the economy would have to be in chaos for the government to be that desperate. And that amount of chaos would have pushed the price up well past $10,000. So I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think people go along with it. There's certainly, there'll be political opposition. In fact, we're seeing the opposite. We're seeing some states in the United States kind of returning to like a local gold standard and building local vaults and so forth. So I think it's very unlikely, but if it did happen, you would, you would already be a winner because the price would be you know, maybe 10 times higher than it is today.